All right, I'm Matt Brown, and we're gonna be looking at School by Nirvana in this one. So this one's actually, it's kind of deceptively hard to play. Um, the main riff, uh, it has some bends combined with pull-offs, uh, and that, that can be a little bit tricky if you haven't done that kind of thing before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to play the riff, and I'm just gonna take the bends out of it at first. And uh, we'll play it like that, and when the, we'll add the bends back in. So we're in standard tuning here, we're in the key of E minor, uh, and the main riff is this, without the bends. Alright, so those notes that we're playing are the low open E and A at the 5th fret. So Kurt Cobain played this, if you watch him play it live, with the 2nd finger. Um, you can do it with the second finger. I like to do it with the third finger when I'm bending the low string down towards the floor. Um, what that does is it allows you to use both the first and second fingers as support. Um, so if you're playing with kind of thicker strings, I've got, you know, tens on, um, so reasonably light. Um, but anyway, you know, I find that I get that bend more in tune consistently and it sounds a little bit better if I'm using the third finger. So, again, the riff, uh, I'll do it slowly. And so the last note has some vibrato on it. Now, for every time he's doing that pull-off, he's bending the string a little bit. Like that. So there's a little bit of a bend there before he pulls off. And then the last one, he bends roughly about a full step each time. It's, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly in tune. You know, this is Nirvana and we want it to be kind of grungy and gross. So um, that's slowly. before the chorus, instead of playing the bend, he just plays the low E note. So at tempo we'd have this. Now let's talk about the chorus. So the chorus, I'll play all of it at tempo, then slowly, then break it down. And then a verse with the main riff, what I was just playing. All right, so we're gonna play a C5 power chord, three strings, that's the root note on the fifth string here. So three, five, five. That's the first jump. And then we're gonna palm you in A5 power chord, three strings, open two, two. So, so down, up, down, up, down, down is the rhythm. And then, Go to an E5 power chord, three strings here. So same rhythm that you had with the C, five chord. And then what happens is he just picks the open A string, and then that leads into a D5 power chord, which is played open to three on the fourth, third, and second strings. So all together, I'll do it slow. So the beginning part happens at the end as well. And then you're back into the uh, riff two times before the verse starts. So okay, verse happens next. Um, we have repeated stuff, so nothing to talk about until we get to the solo. 
So with the solo, what's going on is there at the beginning is there's a low open E string played against uh, this kind of tritone shape, which is 10, 11, and 12 on the fifth, fourth, and third strings. So you get this type of thing. All right, then what he does is he takes the equivalent of this shape played up in octave, but to do it up in octave, you have to play it on the fourth, third, and second strings. So that's gonna be 17, 18, and 20. So slowly. All right, now the next couple of times are a little bit different. Instead of starting out with this shape, he starts with 10, 11, 11. For, so for you theory people, this is now like an 8, 13 chord played against an E in the bass. So we get this. And then when he goes back to this shape, he's now adding in the second string at the 12th fret. So you're going from 10, 11, 11 to 10, 11, 12, 12. So. That's how that goes. And then what he does, the chord he slides up to is different this time. It's 17, 18, 19. All right, so this happens for the, the next three times of the solo with one exception. The last time, instead of sliding up to this high chord, he slides down from the 19th fret of the sixth string. So here's how this section of the solo sounds a tempo. All right, so then we go into the next section of the solo. And to give you a heads up, I'm not gonna go through note by note and say, put your finger here, put your finger there. I transcribed all this out, so just email me for the tabs. Um, my email address is at the top of my, my YouTube page, so just go to the page and you'll see my email at the top. So to talk about what he's doing though, he's using the E minor pentatonic scale and then kind of doing some E minor blues scale stuff, which is the pentatonic scale with that flat five blue note added. So in the key of E minor, that would be a B flat added to the scale. And there are also, towards the end, some licks from E Dorian. So if you haven't learned your uh, modes yet, it's, it's really common for um, guitarists or you know, musicians of any kind to use the blue scale in combination with the Dorian mode to have, I guess, a bigger pool of notes to choose from and kind of a more colorful sound, I guess you could say. So it's a, it's a common thing over a simple riff like this. So uh, I'll play the solo at uh, tempo for you and then uh, probably play it at like maybe three quarter speed or something like that. <laughs>
So again, email me if you want the tabs for that. Um, the only thing left to talk about really is the ending of this song, and it it basically ends with the chorus, but without doing the main riff after it. So like this. <laughs> That's how it ends. So it ends with the recess on the, the A5 chords. So that's it for this one, really. Um, kind of kind of more challenging song for, for a Nirvana song, I would say, uh, especially with the solo. And with the solo as a point of advice, um, to, to quote Jimmy Chamberlain, you're never going to beat somebody that's great at their own game. So don't, you know, play Kurt Cobain solo note for note if you're going to cover this or something. You know, just uh, take his key ideas and then maybe... Um, you know, improvise your own ideas or come up with your own ideas to kind of fill in the rest of the parts. So that's, you know, probably what I would do if I were to perform or hypothetically record this on. All right, um, Matt Brown, if you have any questions or want the tabs, just uh, let me know. And uh, we've got a few more songs coming from Nirvana's Bleach. All right, thanks a lot for watching and stick around.